What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to continue with the work from the last exercise. So we're going to add sinks in the men's room and manually creating the piping that connects them to the sanitary system. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom into this area here. So this is my plan view. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open the 3D view here, the 3D plumbing again. There you go. And then uh, I'll just close the other 3D here. And then I select the plan view and then I click the tile views here. Or I can type WT. All right. So there's my 3D view and then there's my floor plan. So I'm going to add here a three plumbing fixture. So this will going to be my lavatory. So to do that, again, I can just select here the plumbing fixture. If you haven't placed yet your plumbing fixture tool on your quick access toolbar, so you can just go to the systems tab, right click the plumbing fixture, and then you can select add to quick access toolbar so that it will be placed here. So I'm going to right click here the pipe fitting. I'm going to use this one. So right click. I'm going to go ahead and select add to quick access toolbar. So I now have the pipe fitting here and then the plumbing fixture. So that if I go to other tabs, like for example, modify tab, and then I want to create my plumbing fixture. So I just need to select the plumbing fixture, right? Without going to the systems tab. Okay, so anyway, so let's place our plumbing fixture here. So I click the plumbing fixture. And then from the properties, I'm going to look for uh, uh, lavatory. All right. So lavatory, rectangular, 22 inches by 22 inches, public. So this is a wall-hosted family. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And then making sure that place on vertical face is selected. And then I'm now going to place it here. Okay. So quick one. Okay, right click, click again. Okay, so I just click here and then I'll just use the align tool. Align tool, align tool. There you go. And then I'll just select here modify. So in 3D view, it looks like this. So I want to connect this uh, three plumbing fixtures to my pipe here. Okay, so to do that on my 3D view or you can also do that on the plan view, Okay, you just need to select this elbow here. So when you click that one, you can see the plus icon there. Okay, so if you want to create a pipe to this direction, so you just select that plus to upgrade your elbow to T fittings. Okay, but since I'm going to create a pipe to this direction here, so I'm going to select this plus sign to upgrade this elbow to T fittings. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one, click, and then it's now T fitting. There you go. And then the direction is correct. So it goes to this direction here. Okay. Because if you click that one, you can flip that if you want to change the direction. But that's not the correct. So just flip the fitting. There you go. All right. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create now another pipe here. So I'm going to click this pipe. And then you see there's a connector here. Just right click that and then select draw pipe. Okay, so just select the draw pipe. And then make sure that the slope here is going up. Okay, the direction of the pipe here, of course, is going up because it will go down to this direction here, to that uh, stack there. Okay. So I'm just going to move to this direction and then let's put a slope here. So slope up, I'm going to select one eighth of an inch over 12 inches or one foot. So I select that slope and then I'm just going to place it here. There you go. Okay. And then I will now select here. Modify. Okay. So now the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to create another pipe that goes up this time. Okay, so I will do it here in the 3D view. So I'm going to select that pipe. And then again, there's a connector. So I'm going to right click that uh, connector and then I'll select here draw pipe. So I select that one and then change the elevation here, the offset. So I'm going to type here two 
space 6. So I can do that because I know that Revit will read it as 2 feet 6 inches. Okay, because my current unit is on feet and inches. Alright, so I'm going to select a pie and then you can now see that your pipe now moves up. Creating a pipe that goes up. Okay, so now the next part of the exercise. Oops, what is that? Okay, so right click, draw pipe. I forgot to apply. So again, 2 space 6. There you go. And then don't forget to apply. There you go. And then select modify. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a fitting. Okay, so let's go add a fitting. So I'm going to select the fitting here, pipe fitting. So let's click that one. And then from the type selector, I'm going to use this one. Why 45 degrees double PBC schedule 40 DWV. So I select standard. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm going to hover my pointer. And then once it highlights the pipe, the pipe center, so I'll just click. And there you go. And then I select here, modify. And now the direction of this uh, fitting is not correct. So that's why I'm going to select that rotate icon. There you go. And then the flip icon here because we want that to going up. So I select the flip fitting. There you go. Okay. And then after that, let us change the offset of our uh, pipe fitting. Okay, so I will select this one and then uh, I'll change the offset here. I just want to make that 6 inches. If you're going to type uh, 6 inches here, do not type 6 because Revit will read it as uh, 6 feet. Okay, so you need to type the inches sil uh, symbol. Okay, so 6 inches and then just click again here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to move this uh, whole segment of pipe to the uh, middle lavatory okay so I'm just going to go to the floor plan and then I'll just use the move tool I click this line and then I'm just gonna pick this there you go and if you're going to click that type again our slope is correct so one eighth of an inch per foot okay going to that going down to that direction all right now the next thing that we are gonna do is we're going to add pipe stubs to the double Y fitting that we have created. So on our plan view here, so we have a section. So I'm going to open that section by double clicking that head. Okay, double click and then it will open the section. Right, and then I'm going to select this fitting here and then right click that connector to create a pipe. So draw a pipe and then I'm just gonna move my pointer 45 degrees to this direction and then I'll just type one for one foot. So one and then enter. There you go. And then after that, so let us just move this pipe. So again, make sure the slope is going up one eighth of an inch per one foot. Okay, to that direction and then making sure this is uh, connected to that center of that uh, fitting. It's not appearing. Okay, so I'll just pick one here. And then escape. And then I'll do that here. So pick, right click, draw pipe, 45 degrees. And then type 1 or 1 foot, enter. And then go to this direction. And then pick here then escape okay so what I'm gonna do is if I click this so there's a connector I want this endpoint here to be aligned to that center okay so for some reason a while ago the center line icon for alignment is not appearing so that's why what I'm gonna do is um I'm just going to create a detail line here so go to annotate detail line so I pick the center line of this like that and then I use align tool. So align, pick that line to align my pipe there. Okay. And then you will notice it will become straight, which is wrong. So I will select that one. 
and then I will select your slope and then make sure 1 8 over 12 inches is selected then finish there you go there's now the slope okay all right so maybe same with this one okay so there you go so the the icon for the alignment is now appearing so i'm now going to align that okay so it's now aligned from there Okay, so now the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to select this pipe here. I'll just drag that one and then align that to the center of my pipe there. Okay, so maybe what I'm going to do is because I really want this side to be the same as this. So this one doesn't have a slope. I think it's wrong. So I'll, I'll just change the slope of this. So I select slope. Okay, 1.8. Finish. All right. Okay, there you go. Just close this uh, warning. Okay, so that's correct. That's correct. Okay, there you go. Now, we are now going to add a P-trap. Okay, of course, we want to add a P-trap. Let me just delete this line here. So we're going to add P-trap to our uh, laboratory there. Okay, so before we do that, let's create a pipe here first. So I will click this. I will click that icon to create a pipe. So you click that, and then we will be uh, typing just six inches. So six inches icon, and then enter. There you go. And then modify to terminate. So same with this one here. So pick, click that icon, icon for sanitary. Then you move to down here, and then I'll just type uh, six inches icon, enter. Modify. So click, sanitary icon, move down, so 6 inches icon, enter, and then modify. And then we're going to add our p-trap. So let me just do that here on my 3D view. So here on the 3D view, so I will go to the fittings again, pipe fitting, click the, ty uh, the type selector, and then let's look for the p-trap. Let's click that, and then let us just p the end point of this pipe that's the one i'm just going to rotate that later on okay there you go and then modify all right so let's click this rotate 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 okay rotate 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 okay so rotate 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 all right Okay, so last part, we're going to connect now our uh, fitting to our pipe here. Okay, so to do that, you can just simply select your fitting, your P-trap, and then there's a tool here that is called Connect Into. So just click Connect Into, click that one, and then select now the pipe here where you want to connect. Just like that. So same with this pipe here. Connect Into, click that pipe, select this. Connect into, of course, you can do this manually if you want, but I prefer connect into because it's faster. There you go. All right. And then if you will notice, if I click this pipe here, there is no slope, right? It's just a straight pipe, which is wrong. Okay. So I do not want that. So there should be a slope. So I will go select this, hold control to select the other horizontal pipe, the three pipes, and then go to slope. Again, make sure it's 1 8 inches per 12 inches and then just select finish to put the slope. There you go. Click and there you go. All right. Okay, so in 3D view, this is now how it looks like. Okay, so this is now our final uh, 3D model. Okay, so as you can see, what we did here is we did it uh, manually and then on this area here, we did it automatically. All right, so hope you learned something from this video. In our next uh, exercise or video, we are going to refine the sanitary stock. So we are going to continue with the work on our model right now and then we are going to adjust the sanitary stock. So that is what we are going to do on our next video. Okay, so hopefully... I see you there. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.